<clears throat> so this particular cable uh, it's very uh, very close to probably what you've seen before uh, the only difference is um, it has hang on there we go it has a I'm just going to do this to show you a metal tracer uh, in it and pretty much uh, costs the same amount to get the cable this way from our vendor. Uh, so basically somebody could open up uh, one of our cans and just scrape but to get to the copper, click uh, click your toner on it, and then uh, you could tone the whole line. So it's, it's rather convenient. <clears throat> so in order to use this stone art tool, uh, we do uh, have to remove that. So I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, little notch here. I'm just going to cut just the copper cable. Uh, and let's see if maybe I can move this a little closer here. I don't know if that's going to mess anything up. We'll see. There we go. So uh, basically what we're going to do here is get Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna get the um, get our razor knife, kind of find that little cut that I just did. And if you hold your knife steady, right? Move just your other uh, hand. Oh, almost got it. I just got hit with a little piece of dirt. Like once you find the sweet spot, you can just kind of turn your knife left and right. Cool. Next step, um, you can uh, break these apart. Right. right there. Uh, if you want, if you were trying to do a mid slit for whatever reason, I've only ever had to do that one time. Uh, it was really, it was a boo boo type situation. <clears throat> so, pretty easily. There's a notch right here that kind of shows you right where the blade is. I'm just going to put that right after where the copper is. Pinch me, pinch my shoe. Tuck that thing down. Mm -hmm. Now, just for my own convenience, I always take my knife and just kind of do that. Okay, get it started. And there you have it, just like a banana. Now sometimes, uh, if the cables are really dirty, um, you know, you'll notice there's some imperfections in the front or whatever. But, so, I'm going to take these jackets off. Uh, this is a FOSS that is in a, in a ground case, so I pretty much don't uh, utilize my strength members because um, well, a couple reasons. For one, the A tray is kind of a pain in the butt to do. Um, also, once this goes back in the ground, it's not like it's moving around like it's, um, you know, like it's on a pole. Uh, so, with these strength members, kind of a little fun trick. It's you can't really cut these things with your scissors. Uh, I mean, you can if you like really, really push. Um, but if you just bend them. I'm talking ever so slight, they give up right away, which is pretty cool. Um, and then, really just for my own sanity, I cut them into about three foot sections and then just put them in my trash can right here. I 
home one up one day and I had an explosion. I'd, I'd use electrical tape and it wasn't, it wasn't fun. So we got our can wrench. Um, this is also, just happens to also be a Jonar tool. Um, there's a 3 8 and a 7 8, 7 16 um, That will pretty much open all your Verizon stuff. Um, but for this, we have to grab our flat drop uh, end here. Just loosen it up. Now, some of the ones that we've got of these uh, flat drop adapters during COVID uh, are a little uh, difficult. I don't know if they like, had a supply chain shortage or what, but uh, just remove your plug. And you can tell pretty much within five minutes if it's going to be uh, easy or not. Easy peasy, look at that. Wow. I wish they were all that, like that. Um, I've had it a few times where you get three in there, and the fourth one is just dang impossible. Now this uh, particular tray here, uh, it does have a rural, uh, rural tap splitter, an unbalanced splitter. I think it's a 75%. Uh, percent. Um, yeah, I've talked about that a bunch, I, I know, but... Uh, this is why that uh, strategy, uh, it really works well because <clears throat> the one uh, customer that I hooked up here that's already installed, signed up a year and a half ago. Well, now I got a new customer to hook up and in my uh, case, if I have a flat drop adapter, I know I can hook up four customers uh, to it. Um, that it's already prepped, you know, already prepped for that. Cool, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I'll start attacking like that. I have to kind of, uh, to kind of retool, retool my table here, so uh, I guess just give me, a, give me a moment here. And then uh, I accidentally threw away my goof off yesterday when I did a trash can dump, so uh, I'm a little light on paper towels too, so we're going to uh, we're gonna try to knock this out without going to the store.